And I'll give a demonstration of the audio playback computer system here at the house. This is a computer that's hooked up to the soundboard, and it was just a computer I got at a thrift store, I think for five dollars. I put a new hard drive in it, I, or I put a salvage hard drive in it, I put uh, Slackware Linux on it, and I think I had to put a new Ethernet card in it to get it to work. But there's no monitor on it, it's just controlled through a remote login, through SSH, from other terminals in the house. It does have a keyboard on it because it needs a keyboard to start up if the power goes out. Now over here is another thrift store computer that I'm using to play back audio. And this computer just acts as a file storage uh, device here. And there's a, four, a third computer down here, which is an old compact server which acts as an audio storage device. These are all networked through uh, NFS. And then here's the control center. And I can actually control it from any, any computer terminal in the house. But um, right now I'm logged into the audio computer through SSH. And I'm running the, uh, the CMUSE program. That's the program I use uh, for playing back audio. It runs at the command line and you can just use keys on the keyboard to control it. For instance, plus increases the volume, minus decreases. And you can, you can browse the directories through all the NFS mounted computers in order to uh, hear other other pieces of music that I've recorded here. These are just transcriptions uh, from, from records that I've put on here. This is a computer that I use for recording. It's connected to the audio board output as well, and, and it can output audio itself. So I do my editing on this one. But another thing I can do, if I switch to another view here, is that I've, I've written scripts for controlling different functions. So I've made a plus script for increasing volume, a zero script for decreasing, A advances to the next track in the playlist, and that's the time and temperature announcement. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a moment. I've got all these uh, different functions in here, and I can control the system from any terminal in the house. I've got another computer in the kitchen, and I've got another one in the bedroom, and the bedroom one is a Linux computer networked with NFS into the main audio playback computer. But one, one interesting thing I, I've done is to make a time and temperature system. And in order to get time data, this computer is connected uh, up with NTP, Network Time Protocol, and it gets time uh, data from different servers to keep the uh, clock in here updated to Greenwich Mean Time. And so every minute, it uses a program called F-Lite, which is Festival Light, to uh, take the time data in text, it reads the time data, and makes a speech announcement. Uh, it does text-to-speech conversion every minute. And then what happens is the, uh, the wave file of the text-to-speech is inserted into the playlist in the audio playback computer. So, and because it's updated every minute here, whenever the audio playback computer calls for a time announcement, it's always the right time. And it does that through a cron job. Every five minutes, a time and temperature announcement is inserted into the playlist. To do the temperature, I have a program that uses links. I use links to download data from the National Weather Service every hour. And then I use the F light to uh, I use grep to get to extract the text that has the temperature, the word temperature, and the uh, degrees. And then F light does a text to speech conversion on that. 
And I only do that once an hour because that's the that's as much as the National Weather Service is updated. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to invoke the script manually with the time play command. So now it's going to put time and temperature data into the playlist and see views here. So it's in the playlist. So I'm going to run the music track ahead toward the end and use the arrow keys. Now I should hear the announcement. The time is 53 minutes past the hour. Temperature 76F24C. So every minute, I'm per, or every five minutes, I'm provided with updated time and temperature information in my music program. So I always know what uh, time it is, even if I can't see the clock, and it is as accurate as anything can be. There are programs that do this for commercial radio stations, but I think what they've done is to re actually record an announcement for every every minute rather than have the computer do it in a synthesized voice. But I don't mind the computer type voice. I'm now out in the kitchen. I'll show how I can uh, log into the computer here and adjust the programming and the music. I'm going to use the PuTTY uh, client, which does allow for SSH. These computers do not recognize Telnet. They use SSH only. So I can go ahead and adjust volume up or adjust it down. Just using the can advance in the playlist here. And I can do this from the bedroom too, so no matter where I'm at in the house, I can control the audio programming. Here's the kitchen speaker. Here's a VT320 digital terminal, and I'm going to hook up a serial cable to run this into one of the Linux computers so I can control audio in the living room. I had had the, another VT320 hooked up, but the flyback went out, so I found another one out in the barn, and I'll get it uh, set up and give a demonstration of it, too.